welcome back. Oh yes, today is another mystery box unboxing. This box, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit uh, nervous about. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous because I have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Deluxe Mystery Box. And this beautiful box right here is a hundred dollars. So you can see where the nervousness comes into play. It's a hundred dollar mystery box. It's a lot of money to uh, to spend. It's not something you think of just like, wee, okay, I'll go get that hundred dollar mystery box. It's something that you're just like, oh, do I want but it is supposed to have a value of $205. I had to double check and pull it up here so that way I didn't get it wrong. And inside of this box, you are supposed to receive eight items. <laughs> Only have the one hand. And one being the mystery exclusive cosmetics item. And it says that the deluxe is the one that is gonna contain clothing items. And that's why you choose your size at checkout. So, Let's just go ahead and get into it. I am ready to just dive in. No more wasting time. Let me get my baby scissors. And cut into this. Oh yeah, satisfying sound. Get into the box, get into the box. Ugh. Why does this always happen to me? Okay, where is there more tape? Ugh. Am I, oh, okay tape on these sides too. That's where I was missing it. <laughs> I always, I always do that. Let's try this again. There we go, that seems better. Ooh, yes. Ooh, is that, is that a hoodie I see? Is that, is that a hoodie? I am hoping for a hoodie. Okay, first item that we all saw right up top. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I see a big logo. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's the hoodie. I love hoodies this time of year. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's back up. Let's let's look at this. Okay, so it says Jeffree Star Cosmetics, premium cosmetics company, five year anniversary, Calabasas CA. So that's all right there. It's got the Jeffree Star logo down the sleeves. That's kind of a fun touch. And down the back, hold on, pulling it up here, it says iconic. That is a really good looking hoodie. I really wanna put it on, but I don't wanna smudge all my makeup that's on my face. Let's, let's try it. Why, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? Going through the face. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, made it through. No makeup on the hoodie. That's what I'm talking about. So here it is on my body. It's actually a really good fit. It's kind of a tight fit, I would say. I usually like my hoodies a little bit on the baggier side. This is a size small. I did get to choose it. I mean, I had no clue what I was getting, so I went with a small just to be safe, because I usually am, but ah, man, had I known it was a hoodie, I would've probably chose a medium just because I like the baggier feel of my sweaters, but I mean, at least it fits nice, so that's good. Just personal preference on your hoodies. But this is actually really cute. Ooh, <laughs> I love this. But looking it up super fast on their website, I see that they do sell these hoodies. I think it's different colors. I don't see specifically the purple, but all of the hoodies are the same price. It's 45 bucks. That's not bad. Kind of a normal priced hoodie, I think. And it's called the Prom Night Five Year Anniversary Hoodie. Cool. All right, so let's see. What else do we got? Okay, got some nice tissue paper. I can save that for Christmas time. Wrap something else in it. Let's go for this guy. Let's go for this little present here. Am I the only one who tries to be delicate with like tissue paper and things? Cause I can always reuse it. Especially with Christmas just right, on, right around the corner. Think I'm buying tissue paper? No. <laughs> Look at this. Got the perfect combo right here. Someone's getting that in a gift bag. Ooh, okay, so this is the exclusive item. This is the Peppermint Frost Skin Frost Pro Palette. It is a combination of highlighters. 
I couldn't help but see a sneak peek of this online. I think Jeffree Star or Jeffree Star Cosmetics posted a picture with some swatches. Man, that looks so fun. Those patterns inside of it, I mean, that just reminds me of candy canes. Maybe like a gingerbread kind of deal. And then this one is hot chocolate with some melting marshmallows. That's the vibes that it gives me. Let's let's swatch this guy. Very cute presentation. Oh no, I'm ruining the pattern a little bit swatching. <laughs> it's always a sad moment. That's some serious Christmas vibes though. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Wow. You kind of look at it and you think like, oh, is it all really gonna mesh together? And it really does. Hold on, let me get a better angle for you guys. I think those look very beautiful. I want to put some on. Since I did see that this was a sneak peek, I knew I was gonna get a highlighter inside of this palette, not palette, box. So I didn't put any highlight on the face today. I just have a little bit of a shimmery blush. So let's get a, get a highlight and brush. Put some of this guy on. I think I wanna do a little combination of Ugly Sweater. Oh, I just realized the names. Ugly Sweater, Igloo Gold, and Chocolate Ice. How did I miss the names? But I think I'll do a little combination of Ugly Sweater and a teensy bit of Igloo Gold. Just a little, little dot in it. Ooh, I see, I see. Am I totally insane or? This is scented. Smells just like a peppermint candy or candy cane. Wow, that's nice. I love the smell of peppermints <laughs> during the Christmas time. That is really beautiful. And since this is a exclusive only available in these mystery boxes, I don't have any kind of value for this guy, but this was a really fun item. And I like that there is an exclusive inside of the mystery boxes that you can't get otherwise. It makes it a little bit more exciting, in my opinion at least. But that was our second item now. Let's go into our third, which we've got uh, some lip options here. So the first one is a Velour Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Soft Serve. This one I do not yet own, so let's swatch it out. Oh, it's a pink. Based on this uh, label, I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more coral. Maybe it's a pink coral. Ah! Whoopsie. Yeah, that's kind of like a pinky coral to me. That's a very pretty wearable color. I am on board for that. Let's try this one on. Let's wipe away my lip color I have on and plop this guy on, why not? Let's stick with a the theme. I'll use one of my <laughs> previous mystery box items and apply this. All right, so here is what soft serve looks like on the lips. And this is an $18 liquid lipstick. They are all of the same price. Now we got one more liquid lipstick. So the second Velour liquid lipstick is the one in first class. This looks like it's gonna be an interesting shade. Let's take a look at that. Whoa, Nelly. Oh my God. Let's shake it a little bit. This is a very intense color. Holy moly, that is gold. So that's the shade first class. Let's, uh, let's try it on. Let's try it on, yep, yeah, why not? You will make a remover. Cause these liquid lipsticks are tough to get off. There we go, coming off. All right, let's do this, let's try it on. <laughs> All right, so um, here's the shade first class. Being totally honest with you guys, I don't see myself wearing this probably ever unless I do something random for like an Instagram post for Halloween time. But on a regular basis, it's just not really me. But I mean, that's one of the things that you, you know, you sign up for when you get a mystery box, especially when you sign up for a Jeffree Star Cosmetics mystery box, because he has some adventurous colors on his website. There are so many on there, so you just kind of have to have that in mind if you're picking up a mystery box by him. But you know what? I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. I think I'll wear this for the rest of the video. <laughs> you know, just to get some use out of it. Why not? Let's, let's go for it. Let's go wild today. Why not? 
But yeah, so another $18 liquid lipstick. Keeping that for the count. And then let's dip back into this guy. Oh, we got ourselves a highlight, another one. This time we got a Supreme Frost. This one is in Candy Apple Drip. Oh my gosh, that is green. That is indeed green. Let's take a look at this. Give it a little swatcheroo. Oh, that is interesting. So it's got green in it, but yet it almost goes a little bit darker when you shift it. Oh yeah, if you catch it in the, just the right amount of light. Can I do it? There we go, you can kind of see it there. So like right in the light, bright green. Turn it away and it goes darker. Interesting, interesting color. I would probably use this for a all over the lid color. Like that's what I would see this as for myself personally. Popping this all over the lid, that'd be intense. Highlighter, ah, I'm just not that exciting anymore. I feel like I've toned myself down a little bit on the adventurous highlighters. But this one has a $32 value for their Supreme Frost formula. Let's go for it. I got a couple more items in here, but let's go for one of the biggest ones. I have a feeling I know exactly what this is by the popsicles on the outside. Oh no, I ripped the tissue paper. Dang. <laughs> Yes, I was right. So I got myself the Thirsty Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, man. I am actually am on board for getting this palette. I did want it the first time around when it launched because I thought it had some gorgeous looking shades in there. Here's a close-up of the Thirsty Palette. I forgot, were these pressed glitters or were they just very shimmery soft metallics? Oh, I think they're soft shimmery metallic shades. Ooh. Okay, let me do some quick swatches for you guys of this palette. All right, so here is the entire Thirsty palette swatched out. Holy guacamole. These middle shades here, oh my gosh, they just melted as I was swatching them. That's how good they felt. I really, really want to put one of these on my eyes just so I can see how it looks because man, that color is intense. It just really felt so soft. It felt very different than any other eyeshadow formulas I've felt before. So I'm excited about those ones. I'm happy with this one. I did, I want it back when it first launched and then I don't know why I didn't get it. I was planning to and then I think I got distracted by something else because there was a lot of launches happening during that time. I think that's what it was. And this eyeshadow palette, it's no longer sold on Jeffree Star's website, but I did find it here on Beautylish and its retail value is 48. Dallas. That was the last of the makeup items. Now we got uh, some kind of random items here. The first of them is this reusable straw. So it looks like a peppermint candy cane and you get a little cleaner with it. Oh, that's nice. So that way you can keep them together and make sure you keep your straw clean. I have completely switched over to only reusable straws. I even have a really fun nifty one that flips out that I carry around in my purse. That was the only way I could get my husband to stop <laughs> drinking from the one-time use plastic straws was to get like a really fun one that flips out like a little wand. So that's that's the trick. If you have someone who's like kind of hesitant about it, get them a fun straw that flips. But this one looks cool. I'll keep this one for my fun beverages at home my holiday drinks. And then lastly, we got some stickers. Now these ones, I already knew they were gonna be inside of the box because of the whole drama that unfolded with the mini box and the reason that he actually refunded everyone for the mini box because a lot of people were upset that the exclusive item was stickers within the box. And I mean, I get it. I absolutely get it. I, you know, I'm prepared for it with the mini box. I know there's gonna be stickers in there. I would have been upset too because, I mean, these stickers, I, they do look really nice. It looks like they took some time to work on them, create them, and I love the whole traditional tattoo style that they have because that's the kind of theme that I go for with my tattoos, so I love that, but they're still stickers, you know what I mean? I, I don't really put stickers on too many things. I have a Hydro Flash that I put some stickers on, but that's about the only thing, so yeah. 
but that was the last item so let's do a little recap here i got eight items of course the stickers being included as one of the items just so we can get a little visual sweater and everything in my hands eight items as far as value goes of this whole box it's gonna be a little bit hard to calculate because some of these items were exclusives to just the mystery box one being the straw the palette as the other and the sticker as the third so for what i could calculate i get up to a value of 161 dollars i'm assuming that with the straws and everything else we're gonna get very close to that 200 dollar mark but i mean again i'm only guesstimating because of those three items so i think we're definitely on track with the value which is something i always like to add up you know <laughs> i like to make sure it's actually what they say i definitely think for that from this box i have a couple favorite items number one the hoodie i was very excited about it i wanted a hoodie and i got one also the thirsty palette i really wanted it the first time around so i'm excited i got it now the soft serve liquid lipstick peppermint highlighter palette straw these five items i think are my favorite out of the box so i think that's pretty good you know the ones that are a little bit questionable are the gold liquid lipstick and the green highlighter but i mean that's the name of the game with mystery boxes you kind of sign up for random things especially when it's jeffrey's you have to go into it knowing you're gonna get some crazy colors y you just gotta keep that in mind that's one thing i've learned from getting a few m different mystery boxes now is you gotta have that in mind and i mean lastly the only thing i wish they would have done is just made the stickers as a like an add-on and not count it as a full-on item it would have made a little more sense to me at least if it was just like a little add-on item that they're like oh hey thanks for getting this mystery box here's some cool stickers that's just my two cents on it <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed me unboxing this for you though. I do have the last two variations coming later on this week, so make sure you do stay tuned for those. But if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!